So I've had a few questions uh, recently uh, in the comments on uh, how I go about soldering to these uh, SMA connectors and the reason is is because it's quite hard to get hold of these with uh, solder cups like they used to be. Um, over the past year or so you've only been able to get hold of the ones with uh, solder posts. I have uh, now and again come across a seller who sold a few but um, I've had a quick look on eBay today and uh, all I can find are the ones that uh, have these solder posts and uh, it does make it a little bit more difficult but this technique I uh, used to do with the solder cut ones anyway just so I could get a slightly thicker driven element on the uh, solder cup versions as well and a much stronger uh, solder connection so it's going to be a quick video I'm just going to show you uh, what I do to uh, solder directly onto this and get a really strong connection so the materials that I typically use then is uh, some KNS brass tubing it's uh, three millimeters diameter and it's about 1.7 millimeters on its uh, internal diameter and I use this uh, brazing rod here this is a uh, brass and uh, copper mix brazing rod that is uh, 1.5 millimeters in diameter and that's how I construct the uh, driven element now the KNS tubing I cut that to lengths of around 10 millimeters you don't have to be that precise if you uh, cut it off about 11 12 millimeters perfectly fine you could even cut this off to the length of the driven element at 31.25 millimeters if you like and just solder that directly onto the SMA connector I mean it will work perfectly fine uh, you normally see uh, tubing like this uh, used when you want a, a broad band range but because you're only using Wi-Fi it's quite a narrow band that the uh, Wi-Fi uses you really don't need to do this but uh, you could you know if you just wanted to make a couple up just get the brass tubing and uh, make it out of the brass tubing that'd be fine but um, I cut it off at uh, 10 millimeter lengths and uh, I basically solder one of these onto the SMA connector to make a little solder cup and then I solder a length of the uh, brazing rod onto there and then cut it down to the length that I want so let me move the vise in here and show you how easy it is to do so I've got my uh, little SMA connector fitted in the vise here and I've got it nice and level as well and that's uh, quite important you want all this to be soldered so it's nice and level not uh, cockeyed so to speak but uh, basically what we're going to do first is put a little bit of solder on this solder post here so let's get the soldering iron a little bit of heat flow a little bit of solder in there you don't want too much that's just going to be enough so now I'm going to pop a length of the tubing that we've cut down to 10 millimeters over the top of the solder post and what I've done I've uh, cut off a couple of lengths of solder probably about uh, you know six millimeters in length there and I'm going to drop those down the tube it's quite difficult to do this when you've got the camera in the way but normally I can do three at a time on this vise and then once I've done that I'm just going to go around and make sure that it's sitting nice and straight and it's not shorted out to that dielectric so once you're happy with it and uh, you're ready to solder this in place I don't use the soldering iron at this point I uh, use a uh, small blowtorch so get some heat into the tubing and I've also got this uh, pair of uh, cutters here only because it's got this nice flat metal surface and I'm going to use that to hold the tubing in position until the solder uh, sets so let's get some heat in there and get that solder flowing doesn't need a great deal and then use my wire cutters just to straighten it and holding it in place while it uh, the solder does its job And that's it, that's the uh, solder cup in place. So we're ready to now uh, solder on the brazing rod to make the rest of the driven element. So now I'm just going to tin some solder around the edge of this brass tubing, not too much. And 
And now I'm going to take a uh, length of the uh, brazing rod. I've cut it off to 100 millimeters. It's quite easy to work with uh, 100 millimeters, and I can get three driven elements out of this. So I've put quite a bit of uh, tin around the uh, bottom of the brazing rod here. I'm going to hold that on top of the tubing and apply heat to the brazing rod first. Let that heat carry down. I don't want that heat to spread so it desolders itself from the bottom of the SMA connector. Just make sure and I've got a nice connection around there. So I'm happy with that. So what I can do now is remove it from the vise and then uh, tidy up the sides here with the Dremel. So basically uh, that's it finished. I've cut this down to uh, 31 0.25 millimeters and I also put some heat shrink tubing around the base as well just to make doubly sure that you don't short it out to the cantenna when you drill your hole through the cantenna. You can see on this one I haven't uh, actually come into contact with the ground plane but it's off to the side a little bit and that's because um, you know doing it on camera is a little bit difficult because you're using your arms you know at arm's length whereas uh, when you're doing this yourself on the bench you've got it pretty close up to you so you've got uh, greater control over uh, the uh, driven element when you're soldering it in place but uh, also remember as well you know although it's 31.25 millimeters depending on the thickness of the material you're using for your cantenna let's say uh, probably won't be as thick as this but uh, let's say if it's uh, quite thick material at three millimeters like uh, this is about three millimeters four millimeters you have to add that into your driven element as well because your antenna won't start working until this point here so you have to add this bit into the uh, driven element the uh, final measurement but a little bit of heat shrink tubing around the bottom or cover the entire thing in heat shrink tubing and then uh, you're good to go that's how uh, simple it is with the uh, solder post so I hope that helps so hopefully you did find it useful any uh, comments or suggestions drop them below you know if you do something different with these uh, then please uh, let us know what you do but uh, I've been using this method for quite some time now and uh, it does it works really really well